I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Xo'p, ingliz tilida juda ham ko'p ishlatiladigan gaplardan biri bu I don't understand. Albatta o'quvchilar yoki biror bir inson tushunmasiz ma'lumotni yoki aytilgan gapni. Odatda I don't understand this is I don't understand what you mean this is mumkin yoki I don't understand what I'm reading. Va hokazo va hokazo juda ham ko'p ishlatiladigan gaplardan biri I don't understand va odatda mana shu I don't understand bilangina cheklanib qolishadi ingliz tilini o'rganuvchilari, lekin ingliz tili juda ham boy til va I don't understand ni o'rniga boshqacharoq gaplarni ham aytish mumkin. Xuddi shu ma'noda va ushbu videoda biz sizlar bilan demak 10 xil yo'lni o'rganamiz. I don't understand ni o'rniga qanday qilib boshqacharoq gaplarni tuzish va albatta ana shu ma'noni saqlab qolish. Demak, I don't understand o'rniga ishlatilishi mumkin bo'lgan 10 xil gap. Demak, boshladik. I don't understand o'rniga ishlatilishi mumkin bo'lgan birinchi alternativ gap bu I don't quite follow you. I don't quite follow you. What do you mean? No, uh, I don't quite follow you. Follow degan so'zni e'tibor bering. Follow degani or, ortidan borish, ya'ni bu yerda aytilgan gapni tushunish ma'nosiga ketyapti. Demak, I don't understand o'rniga you can say I don't quite follow you. Misol uchun, o'qituvchingiz biror bir narsani sizga tushuntiryapti va siz uni uni ortidan bora olmaysiz, ya'ni tushunmayapsiz ularning fikrini. So you can say I don't quite follow you. What do you mean? Can you just uh, make it a little bit simpler? Uh, demak, birinchi iboramiz I don't quite follow you. I don't understand the only ishlatilish mumkin bo'lgan ikkinchi ibora bu I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, this is mumkin. I just simply can't get it. This is mumkin. Ya'ni to get something albatta buni get so'zi bilan juda ham ko'p uh, gaplarni tuzish mumkin. So'zlar iboralar bor va aynan ushbu kontekstda I don't get it. If you don't get something then you don't understand something. Deish mumkin, ya'ni uh, it's mumkin I don't understand o'rniga you can say I don't get it i can't get it this is mumkin ana shu ma'noda ishlatilish mumkin va bu ikkinchi yo'l edi i don't understand o'rniga ishlatilish mumkin bo'lgan uchinchi ibora bu i didn't catch that i didn't catch that catch degani ilib olmoq degan ma'noda bor lekin aynan ushbu holatda i didn't catch that this is tushunmadim degan ma'noni aynatadi misol uchun biror bir gapni aytdi va siz o'sha gapni tushunmay qoldingiz you say i didn't catch that yoki yaxshi eshitmay qolganingizni ham aytishingiz mumkin ushbu iborani i didn't catch that can you repeat that please so i didn't catch that i don't understand na o'rniga ishlatilishi mumkin bo'lgan ushbu gap i don't understand na o'rniga ishlatilishi mumkin bo'lgan yana bir qiziq ibora bu how come how come deyishadi qanday qilib o'zbek tilidagi alternativ tarjimasi qanday qilib how come ya'ni biror bir narsa bo'ldi va siz aytdik biror matematik misol ishlatdingiz va javobi chiqdi va javobiga hayron qolib how come qanday qilib how come deysiz mumkin i don't understand uni albatta ishlatish mumkin i don't understand how it how did you solve this math problem deysiz uni so how come qanday qilib how come okay so this was the next expression that you could use instead of i don't understand I don't understand ka alternativ bo'lgan keyingi ibora it's all greek to me it's all greek to me greek degan so'zga e'tibor bering greek degani bu o'sha grek degani gretsiya bilan bog'liq agar odatda grek oldingi o'sha tarixiy narsalarni anglatish ma'nosi kelib turib yurdi va misol uchun grek tilini tushunish qiyin yoki ularni o'sha misol uchun grek yozuvlarini tushunish qiyin chunki bu juda ham eski yozuvlar va uni ko'pchilik insonlar tushunmaydi misol uchun ko'rsatib bersangiz o'qiy olmasingiz mumkin mana shundan kelib chiqqan aytish mumkin it's all greek to me it's all greek to me you know like you have the math problem yani matematika muammosi bor va yechib beryapti siz umuman tushunmaysiz mana shu narsani va sizga qandaydir bir juda ham bir g'alati nuqtani yozuvdek ko'rinyapti mana shu holatda siz aytish mumkin it's all greek to me i don't understand it it's all greek to me deysiz uh, mumkin ya'ni bu ham yana bir uh, yaxshi ibora it's all greek to me i don't understand na o'rniga ishlatilishi bo'lgan ishlatilishi mumkin bo'lgan keyingi iboramiz bu what do you mean what do you mean uh, buni hammamiz bilamiz uh, what do you mean degani nima nima demoqchisiz bu bilan what do you mean o'qituvchingiz uh, biror bir narsani tushuntirib berdi va siz tushunmadingiz va aytishingiz mumkin nima demoqchisiz bu bilan o'z aslida so, what do you mean you say what do you mean I, you know uh, ya'ni shu holatda ya'ni o'sha clarification so'rash maqsadida ya'ni shu narsani yaxshiroq tushuntirib bering degan ma'noda you say what do you mean i don't understand o'rniga ishlatilishi mumkin bo'lgan keyingi iboramiz but what's the point what's the point what's the point of doing this what's the point of solving this 
what's the point of this word? Yoki what's the point of this rule? Deyishiz mümkün yani. Ozi bu nimaga kerak degan ma'noda aytishiz mumkin. But what's the point? What's the point? Misol uchun aytaylik sizga bir masala berdi va o'sha masalani ishladingiz va aytishiz mumkin o'zi bu nimaga kerak bu bizga kerakmi? Tushunmadingiz masalani nima uchun bizga kerak bu narsa deyishiz mumkin. What's the point? O'zimni shaxsiy eksperimentimni aytishim mumkin. Institutda oliy matematikadan qandaydir masalalar ishlaganmiz. To'g'risini aytsam, umuman tushunmaganman qanday ishlashni va hayotga qanday tadbir qilishni ham bilmaganman va shu holatda aytishimki, what's the point of this all math problems if we can't use it in real life? If the computers can do this for us, what's the point of learning this? Ya'ni mana shu narsani kompyuterlar qila olsa, bizga nima kerak aslida bu matematika masalalarini ishlash? So what's the point? deyish mumkin. O'zbek tilida nima bu menga emas ekan, bu men uchun men uchun emas ekan degan ibora bor. Ingliz tilida ham xuddi shunga shunga o'xshagan ibora bor, ya'ni biror narsani tushunmasangiz yoki bilmasangiz aytish mumkin, bu menga emas ekan, bu men uchun emas ekan. Deysiz mumkin, ingliz tilida it's beyond me deyiladi, it's beyond me. Ya'ni bu men aqlim yetmaydi bu narsaga, bu narsani men tushunmayman, lekin say it's beyond me. So like mass is beyond me, like maybe or chemistry is just it's beyond me. I don't understand any Uh, chemistry stuff or uh, physics, it's beyond me. Astronomy, it's beyond me. Uh, I'm talking about myself. Of course, and some of the fans are like, "Oh, I'm so lucky. 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 I'm so I don't understand gapini o'rniga ishlatilish mumkin bo'lgan oxirgi ibora bu oxirgi gap I can't figure out. I can't figure out. Figure something out degani mag'zini chaqish, tushunish degan ma'noda ishlatiladi to figure something out. I can't figure out this math problem. I mean it's so difficult for me. I can't figure out how our math teacher solved this problem. Deyish mumkin, ya'ni o'sha tushunmayapman, mag'zini chaqa olmayapman, mana shu matematik muammoni qanday qilib yechdi. Can't figure out this. It's so difficult, deyish mumkin, ya'ni bu juda ham qiyin ekan. Buni ma'zun chaqa olmadim, buni mazmunini tushunmadim, qanday qilinganini bilmadim. I can't figure out. Deyish mumkin. It's a very useful expression. Nima uchun uning bilan ushbu video darsimiz o'zini xohlasa ketdi. Ushbu videoda men sizga I don't understand so'zini o'rniga ishlatilishi mumkin bo'lgan juda ham ko'p alternativ gaplarni aytib o'tdim. Albatta, ushbu gaplarni ishlatish orqali you can sound more like native, ya'ni nativlarga o'xshab gapirishingiz mumkin va iloji boricha bir xillikdan qochishga harakat qilish kerak. Doimo bir xil I don't understand this gaplari zerikarli bo'lishi mumkin. Ko'proq mana shunaqa qiziqroq, chiroyliroq iboralardan ishlatsangiz, yana ham o'sha gaplaringizga bezak bergan bo'lgan bo'lasiz. va gaplaringiz yana ham chiroyli eshitiladi. Va albatta bizni kanalimizga a'zo bo'lishni unutmang, chunki bu ushbu kanalda sizga juda ham ko'plab qiziqarli ma'lumotlar berilib bo'ladi. Aynan ingliz tilini o'rganish mavzusida keyingi videolarda ko'rishguncha xayr, salomat bo'ling.